back to our Reborn Oil and Island YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Catherine. I'm the Macmillan Reborn Coordinator for the Cosby Coast and Guyans area. So today's Pilates session is Fundamentals 2. So I've previously uploaded a video called Fundamentals 1 on YouTube, so this one will follow on from Fundamentals 1. So Fundamentals takes you right back to basics. If you have some Pilates experience, it's a great way of just revising over your technique. And if you're a beginner and completely new to it, it's ideal. It's an ideal way to really to start. Okay, to get started today, I want you to think about the area you're going to work in. Make sure it's safe and you've got enough space. And you have something comfortable to lie down on the floor, whether it's a rug or maybe you're on a carpet. I'll be using a Pilates mat this morning. So again, you might want to bring in a good supportive chair. We all need a helping hand every now and again, so it's a good way to get up and down off the floor if you're finding that it's a wee bit of a struggle. Again, you might want to get, um, you might want to find a cushion or a folded tile. This is a great way of just making it more comfortable when you're either sitting or lying down on the floor. You can place it behind your head when you're lying on your back, or you can place it underneath the bottom when you're sitting on the floor, and that can help um, get you your spine into that nice neutral position and make it more comfortable for you. We also need our water. Make sure that you do rehydrate the whole way through the session today. It's really important to get um, hydrated as we go. And again, also please just work at a pace that's comfortable for you. If you need to stop the video, that's fine. And then you can take it up when you're feeling ready to do so again. So for the health and safety side, we always have to talk about that. Okay, please just be mindful of where you are with your health and fitness and where you are with your recovery from your surgery and treatment. If you have been issued with a sleep or lymphedema, please just, you know, make sure that you do wear it. It is advisable to wear it during exercise. And also, if you can, just read the description box underneath the video today, just to make sure that you're aware of the information in there too. Okay, so we're going to move into our preparation phase. Okay, our preparation phase. So today we're going to look at the fundamentals of Pilates. So we're going to start with our alignment, our breathing and our centering. Now we've done this in Pilates one previously, so if you didn't get a chance, we'll do it in more depth in the first video than we will do today. Okay, if you have space, I want you to step off your mat. Keep your fit, feet in line with your hips and allow your arms to lengthen. I want you to think about where you are in relation to the floor with your feet. What can you feel under your feet? We're going to gently lean forward from the ankles, taking the weight into the balls of the feet, keeping the heels connected. I want you to move backwards from the ankles, taking the weight into the heels, and lengthen out the toes. Let's repeat that again. Leaning forward from the ankles, take the weight into your balls of your feet, and heels should remain connected on the floor. Now, on your way back this time, bring yourself gently back into that neutral position. I want you to feel that connection, that three-point connection on your feet. So you should feel the floor connected with your big toe, your little toe, and your heel. Good. Okay, I want you to tilt your pelvis gently to the north, and then gently to the south. And then bring that pelvis back into that natural, neutral position. I want you to relax your ribs, your rib cage on top of your hips, your pelvis. I want you to feel your arms long and relaxed by your sides. Relax your shoulders, keep them wide. I want you to open up that collarbone. Good. And let's breathe in. In through the nose. I want you to just empty your thoughts and breathe out from the mouth. Feel your worries fade away. And again, breathing in. And breathe out. Relax that jaw as you breathe out. Okay, we're going to do a breathing. In Pilates, we breathe laterally. And what that means is we're going to breathe from the upper rib cage. So I want you to just focus on the sides and the back of the rib cage and place your hands just in the lower part of your rib cage with your middle fingers together. So your lungs will expand as you breathe in through your, in through your nose 
And as you breathe in, they should feel a bit like two balloons filling up with air. As you breathe out, your rib cage will begin to close and lower. Okay, let's see if those fingers will actually come apart as we breathe in. So let's breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the mouth. And again, breathing in through the nose. And breathing out through the mouth. Good, so your breath should initiate that movement in the rib cage. Okay, relax the arms down. We're gonna talk about our center and again, this is our core house, this is our navel area. So when you hear the prompt navel to spine, I want you to think about pulling that navel all the way towards the spine at the back. As if somebody's trying to thread a piece of thread through your belly button and out through your back and they're giving it a wee tug. You should close that space between the navel and the spine. Okay, so I want you to think about connecting that spine again as we did in Pilates 1. Okay, it's like pulling a zip up on your jeans. You should feel that connection as you tuck in the pelvis slightly, as you exhale. You should feel almost as if your ribs and your very deep abdominals start to connect and relax. So let's practice that. Let's take a nice big deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's feel that zip coming up, connect those abdominals. Bring in the rib cage to the lower abdominals. Breathe in out and breathe in. Let's pull that navel to spine again. Think about connecting the abdominals. And breathe in. Good. Okay. So, as we move on to um, our mobility section of our preparation phase, I want you just to take your feet a wee bit wider just to get yourself a wee bit more of a base. Okay, keep that three-point connection with the heel, the big toe and the little toe. I want you just to look over your left shoulder and back to the centre. And over your right shoulder and back towards me. I want you just to take your gaze all the way up to the ceiling. Lengthening the neck and take your gaze back to me. Good. Okay, we're going to warm up the shoulder area. I want you just to extend your arms up at shoulder height or maybe just gently below, but you work at a pace that's comfortable for you. If you need to sit in the seat for this point, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we're going to make little tiny circles with our hands backwards. Keep that navel pulled in the spine. Keep that three point connection with your big toe, your little toe and your heel. Try and keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And maintain your breathing. Just breathe naturally. Very important not to hold your breath. And let's rotate in the opposite direction. Good. Now we're going to take it back in the opposite direction again. And I want you to take a bigger circle. Be mindful of what's around you. I have to be careful. I'm quite close to the wall. Good. So making a bigger circle again. Try and maintain that centre. Keep the centre connected. And rotate them forwards again. Good, make them bigger circles. Maintain your breathing. Three, two, and one. And gently float the arms down. Good. Okay, we're going to take our feet out a wee bit wider. We're going to work on a body rotation again. I'm moving forward onto my mat because I'm very mindful that I hit the wall. Okay, so we're going to initiate this with our head as we look round our body. As we look round towards the left, we're going to pivot on the right foot and just rotate round behind you. And let's change sides to the right. So you're really looking over the left or right shoulder. Keep the neck lengthened. Keep that navel pulled in the spine. And let's start with the arms, just gently. Keep them relaxed, keep the shoulders relaxed, trying to generate a little bit of heat in the torso area. Be 
mindful of any back issues you might have. Please just take it gently if you know that there's an issue with your back. Good. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, so today we're going to be working on some of the muscles in the hip area. So I'm going to warm up these are your adductor muscles in the inside of your legs. So I want you to take a, a step that's a wee bit wider than your hips and your shoulders and just keep your feet facing forwards. Okay, so we're just going to talk about the lunge first of all before we bring in the arms. As you very gently bend your knees, you're flexing that knee joint towards the left. Okay, I want you to be mindful of where your knee is. Don't let it go forwards over your toe. Keep your heel all the way connected into your heel. You should feel a stretch in the inner thigh. And just transfer that over. Good. So we're trying to make this movement flow. It's one of our principles in Pilates. Good. We're also trying to keep our core connected, which is another one. Just flowing from one side to the other. Remember, try and keep that weight into the heel. Good. Keep the spine in a neutral position. Keep the head lengthened and the spine lengthened. Good. I want you to take your palms upwards, about shoulder height. Okay, as we change sides, we're going to change the position of our palms of our hands. So we're going to place the palms down and palms up. Good, keep that going. I want you to concentrate on keeping that centre connected and also maintaining a natural breathing rhythm. If you want to breathe, it's very important to get as much oxygen into the muscles as you can. Good. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's bring those feet together. We're nearly through our preparation phase. Feet in line with your hips. Get that three-point connection. Pull the navel and the spine. We're going to raise up onto our balls of our feet as high as you can. If you need to use support of your chair, that's fine. Bring that in. If you find that your balance is a little bit off today. Good. Just you maintain your natural breathing rhythm. Good. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed. We tend to keep a lot of tension in our shoulders and it usually builds throughout the day. Good. Two. And one. Keep the knees nice and relaxed. Okay, we're going to move into our main phase. So that will um, require us to get down on the floor. So if you need to bring in your chair for support or maybe you're close to the wall or a sofa or work surface nearby, it's entirely up to you how you get down. Please get down in a way that's comfortable for you. I'm going to do a roll down this morning. Okay, so to do a roll down today, we're going to come to the back of our mat. And always be mindful of how you feel. If you feel that it gets to a point that you'd rather get down on the floor, that's okay. So get your feet in line with your hips. Let's get that three-point connection in your heel, your big toe, and your little toe. Relax the shoulders down. Pull your navel to spine. I want you to keep your gaze forwards. I'm going to turn around to speak to you, but I want you to maintain your gaze straight in front. Lengthen the spine and lengthen the neck. Okay. I want you very gently to place your hands just at the front of your thighs, just below your hips. And we're just going to gently reach in the fingertips. I want you to maintain your own natural breathing throughout. And we're taking them all the way down the legs. Drop the head, let gravity take control. As we slide the fingertips down the legs, you will start to feel the tension in the lower legs and the hamstring muscles. As you feel that tension, I want you very gently just to bend the knees and bring the fingertips to the floor. Okay, and I want you to walk forwards into that four point position. And then bring your knees together, side sit on the floor and bring your feet in front. So Pilates has quite a few starting seated positions. So today we're gonna look at one of them and we're just gonna work through it to get the correct technique 
for when we move on to do a few extra exercises in this position. Okay, so as you sit up on the floor, you might need to bring in your child, place it underneath your bottom so that it keeps you in that nice, keeps your back in that nice, especially that lower part of your spine, in that nice neutral position. Okay, so I want you to focus your gaze in front. I want you to take your feet far enough away and I want you just to let your knees relax out to the sides. We're bringing the soles of the feet together and we're connecting the soles of the feet. So they should be positioned far enough away from your hips so that you have a sense of space in and around the hips. Ensure your weight is on your sit bones. So where are they, you might ask. If you wriggle about on the mat or on top of your tile, you will feel naturally the bones in the pelvis on the floor. And when you find them, that will give you a nice neutral spine position. I want you to place your hands on your shin bones and relax your elbows. I want you to feel your shoulder blades wide at the back. I want you to feel your collarbone, that's the chest area, feel as if it's open. I want you to lengthen your neck and let your head sit naturally on top of your spine. So let's just take a moment in this position and relax. I want you to pull your navel in towards your spine and we're going to take a nice big deep breath in. And breathe out. Relax the shoulders. Wide and long. Breathing in. And breathe it out. Good. Okay, we're going to move on to our next exercise this morning. Okay, I want you to bring your knees gently together and place them about hip width apart. Now I'm going to just um, turn around so that you can see me. Okay, so this is our, is, is another one of our seated positions. So you might want to centre yourself on your mat because we're going to do this one seated. Okay, let your gaze remain forwards. Keep your toes, your knees and your hips all in line. Again, I want you to feel that neutral spine position where your rib cage is directly over your hips and your spine is nicely lengthened. Relax your arms. I want you to place your hands underneath your thighs this morning, just behind your knees. Okay, so I'm going to turn around. I want you to keep your gaze forwards, although you might want to watch this first. Okay, so this is called the seated C curve. So what this is going to do, it's going to help build an understanding of the C curve alignment of the spine. So what we're trying to achieve today is just to get a slight shape of a C in our spine as we go through this exercise. So again, you might need to sit on top of a cushion or on top of a rolled tile. So as we start this position, I want you just to look forwards. We're going to breathe in. Instead of breathing in to prepare, we're going to breathe in to initiate this exercise this morning. So another really important part of it, we want to think about where our shoulder is in relation to our hip. As we curve into that C curve with our back, we want to make sure that that shoulder remains over the hip. It's a very small movement. We don't want to take the, the shoulder behind. We're trying to create a nice neutral position as we roll the spine backwards. Okay, and as you initiate that, you will breathe in as you roll backwards and you will breathe out as you come back to that nice neutral position. Okay, as you roll backwards, breathe it in you will look towards the knees with your head and chuck your chin down slightly and keep the shoulders directly over the hip joint. And that's your pelvis. And then you breathe out into that neutral spine position. Breathe in. Connect the core and breathe out. Okay, we got that? Now, I'm going to do about five. I want you to do what you're comfortable with this morning. 
if it's just two, and I want you to maintain your own breathing. I'm going to talk through the breathing, but if you find that that's too long for you to hold that breath as you're going through it, just you breathe with what's comfortable for you. As long as you breathe in as you initiate the movement, and breathe out as you come up to neutral again. Okay, let's get started. Looking forwards. Nice neutral spine. Sit in on your sit bones, making sure you're evenly, the weight is evenly distributed between your sit bones. Okay, and let's breathe in. Curve the spine. And breathe out. As we come up. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. So we inhale as we start through the movement. Inhale, curl the spine. Exhale, back to neutral. And one more. Inhale, curl the spine. And exhale, back to neutral. Okay, well done. So that's quite a, a lot to think about in that seat curve, but it is really good because it will give you a better understanding of where your spine is and in alignment uh, and with regards to a C curve. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do today is an exercise lying down in that supine position today. So the easiest way to get down is obviously what's comfortable for you, but I'm going to show you a way to get down, which is quite easy to do as we get down and, and lie flat on the back. So again, you want to come to the end of your mat or just your feet slightly off. Fingertips point towards your feet. I want you to walk your hands down behind you until your forearms naturally come down on the ground. And I want you just to wriggle on down so that you're lying flat. And position yourself on the mat so that you know um, that you're in a nice comfortable position. Okay, the exercise that we're going to do now, we're going to do two exercises and both of these exercises will help you focus and maintain stability between the pelvis and the spine. They're going to promote independent movement of the hip joints. So, let's think about this relaxation position. That's the position that we practiced last week, or in Fundamentals 1. I want you to make sure that you have your feet hip width apart and that your feet are, remain connected to the floor. I want you to feel your rib cage and your back, feel the weight of them relax into the mat. I want you to lengthen your spine and lengthen your neck. I want you to relax your arms by your sides and I want you to connect your core. So pull your navel into your spine. Good. So this exercise I want you to place your hands on your pelvis bones, that's your hip bones. Now you might want to watch this exercise first. We're going to do a leg slide first of all. So you're going to breathe in to prepare. As you breathe out, we want to keep that pelvis still. It has to remain still and in that nice neutral position the whole time. I want you to try and relax your shoulders because normally as soon as you start to initiate a movement, you tense up in the upper body. I want you to think about relaxing them the whole time too. So let's breathe in to prepare the body to move through the mouth, through the nose. Breathe out. I want you to slide your right toe all the way to the floor. And as you inhale, we're going to bring the toe back to the starting position. Okay, so we're basically sliding the toe away and sliding it back. So that's what I'll describe it as as we go through this. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, slide the toe away, inhale, slide the toe back. And the whole time I want you to think about not rocking this pelvis. Keep this pelvis in a nice neutral position. Okay, and again, I want you to work through this. I will pace it, but if you want to go at your own speed or do as many or as little as you would like to do. Breathe it in to prepare. Pull your navel to spine, breathe out, slide your toe away. Inhale, bringing the toe back. 
exhale, slide the toe away. Inhale, bring the toe back. Relax the shoulders. Exhale, slide the toe away. Inhale, slide the toe back. Exhale, keep that pelvis still, slide the toe away, relax the shoulders. And inhale, bring in the toe back. Okay. I want you just to relax for a second. Feel the weight of your body sink into the mat. Take a deep breath in. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Okay, we're going to do the same exercise on the opposite foot, so that's your left leg. Let's inhale to prepare. Connect the navel to spine. Exhale, slide the toe away. Inhale, bring the toe back. Exhale, relax those shoulders, slide the toe away. Inhale, bring the toe back. Oh, catch up your mat. And exhale, slide the toe away. Inhale, bring the toe back, and exhale, slide the toe away, and inhale, and slide the toe back. Well done. So really what you need to think about throughout that is connecting that navel to spine and trying to keep the shoulders relaxed and the pelvis nice and stable. So it's promoting that independent movement of the hip. So the next one is a knee opener. And that's exactly the same um, outcome as the, the previous exercise. It's promoting that independent movement of the hip joint. So I want you just to take your feet in line with your hips again. Keep that pelvis still. Lengthen that spine again. Relax the shoulders and relax the neck and the head. And again, if you need to place a towel underneath your head, if you find it's more comfortable, that's absolutely fine. So place your hands on your pelvic bones. Now this time as we inhale to prepare and exhale, you might want to watch this first. As you exhale, I want you just to drop the left leg towards the floor. Now as you do that, I want you to maintain the stability and the weight pushing through the heel of the leg that remains upright towards the knee that remains upright towards the ceiling. The knee that's pointing out the way, I want you not to roll it too far because we don't want to roll off that nice neutral position in our pelvis. So you open it to where it's comfortable that you can maintain that alignment in the spine and pelvis. And as you inhale, we're bringing it back, the knee back to, to the start. So the command that I'm gonna do is drop the knee to the floor as you breathe out, bring the knee back to the start as you breathe in. But again, you work at a pace that's comfortable for you. So connect that spine, breathe in to prepare. So we're inhaling through the nose. Exhale, drop the knee to the floor. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, right, take the knee to the floor. And inhale, bring the knee up. Keep that navel connected, relax the shoulders. Exhale, take the knee towards the floor. Inhale, Bring the knee back. Exhale, drop the knee towards the floor. Inhale, bring the knee back. And one more for lock and loss count. And exhale, take the knee towards the floor. And inhale, bring the knee back. Okay, just put the palms of your hands onto the floor and just relax. Feel your back. The back of your rib cage, the back of your pelvis, your shoulders, your head, gently slink, sink into the mat. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. Okay, we're gonna repeat that exercise on the other knee. Let's place the hands over the pelvic bones. 
Let's connect the, the navel to the spine, relax the shoulders. Keep the pelvis in that nice, neutral, stable position. Okay, breathe in. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, drop the knee towards the floor. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, drop the knee towards the floor. Inhale, bring the knee up. Relax the shoulders. Exhale, drop the knee towards the floor. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, drop the knee towards the floor. Inhale, bring the knee up. And let's do one more for luck. Exhale, drop the knee towards the floor. Inhale, bring the knee up. Good. Well done. It's really important to keep engaging and connecting your core and trying to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. That's the most difficult part I find. You tend to tense up your shoulders and that's natural, but with practice it gets easier. Okay, another exercise we're going to do today is our cobra prep. So I want you to roll onto your tummy and how you do that is entirely up to you. You can usually, the best way to do that is come to the side of your mat, rolling over onto your side and just gently straighten out your legs and just wriggle round until you're on your tummy. So this nice um, prone position that we practiced last week, I want you to keep your feet in line with your hips and I want you to feel your pelvic bones relax into the mat. I want you to feel your spine lengthen, your knees and legs relaxed, and your buttocks relaxed. Okay, when we did this prone position in the last video, we placed our hands in the diamond position. Today, the hand position is slightly different. We're gonna place our hands so that they're wider than shoulder height, and that our fingertips are just higher than our shoulders. And we're gonna place our forehead on the floor. We're going to initiate this movement today with our, in uh, with our out breath. So we're going to breathe in to prepare. As we breathe out, we're going to very gently peel the chest off the floor and the ribs, uh, the lower part of your ribs should remain on the floor. I want you to breathe in and hold and then exhale towards the floor. So that's the breathing today. Now the technique for this is when you actually start to initiate the movement by lifting the head up. So you're initiating it with your out breath and, then, and you're lifting your head upwards. You want to make sure that um, you're not pushing up with your hands. They're just there as a point of support. Try and use the flexion in your back. I'm sorry, the extension in your back. So this exercise, this cobra exercise is the opposite to what we've been working on so far today. We've been working on the flexion in the back. So this is the extension in the back. Okay, so let's get started. Bring in the fingertips, just slightly in front of the shoulders and the elbows flat on the forearms, flat on the floor and the fingertips pointing forwards. Rest your forehead on the floor. I'm gonna maintain mine up so that you can hear my voice. And we're going to breathe in to prepare. So we're breathing in through the nose. As we exhale, we're going to initiate it with the head and lift the head gently and chest off the floor. Inhale and hold. Exhale and lower. Try and keep the buttocks and the legs relaxed. Exhale and lift. Inhale and hold. Exhale and lower. Inhale to prepare. Exhale and lift. Inhale and hold. And exhale and lower. Inhale to prepare. We're going to do about five or six. Exhale and lift. Inhale and hold. 
and exhale and lower. Let's just do one more for that. Inhale to prepare. Exhale and lift. Inhale and hold. Exhale and lower. Well done. Okay, so that completes all our um, mat exercises today. The last one we're going to do is a standing exercise and it's called a waist twist. So how you get up from your um, prone position is entirely up to you. I'm going to do a roll up. You can follow me or you can just use your chair to come up off the floor. So very gently I want you just to bring your hands in towards your shoulders and gently press so that you're lifting your body off the floor and bring your knees in line with your hips and your hands in line with your shoulders into this nice four point position. We're going to turn our toes under and just bring our hands back towards our knees in this nice squat position. So your feet should be hip width apart and your fingertips should be just in front of your feet. So as you extend the bottom up towards the ceiling, you feel that tension in the hamstring. That's the muscle up the back. As you straighten out the leg, you gently drop the head down, let gravity take over and lengthen out the knees. As you gently come up to standing, I want you to let gravity take over and let's bring the vertebra up one at a time. I want you to maintain your breathing and keep your core connected. So breathing in naturally. Good. And the last thing to come up will be your head and shoulders. Well done. Okay, our last exercise then before our closing phase is going to be our waist twist. So this, this um, movement of a waist twist is really, it's a spinal rotation. It's really vital to the health of our spine. And it's one of the first movements that can diminish as we get older. So let's get our position. So if you can step off your mat, I don't have a great deal of room, so I'm gonna to have to stay on my mat today. So I want you to stand tall on the floor and not your mat. But I want you to lengthen your spine into that nice neutral position. And I want you to feel that connection between your big toe, your little toe, and your heel. I want you to pull your navel into spine, and I want you to gently fold your forearms just on top of each other, just gently below shoulder height. Now in this movement, we're gonna initiate it with the head. I want you to feel as if your forearms are just balanced on top of your spine. We're not gonna twist around like that. We're going to keep it a nice control movement. Now it's really important, your pelvic bones, your hip bones, they must remain forwards. They're not twisting. You're keeping that nice neutral spine throughout. So let's fold the forearms. So you might want to watch this first of all. So we're going to breathe in to prepare the body to move. So you're breathing in, inhaling through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, you're going to initiate it with your head and reaching around the body. And inhale back to centre. Okay, so we're going to try and do five on the, on the left side and then five on the right side. But again, you work at a pace that's comfortable for you. And if you find that there's any pain or discomfort in the spine, please just stop. Overlap. Breathing in to prepare. Connect that core. And breathe out. And breathe in. And relax the shoulders and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Remember you're initiating it with the head. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. Good. And one more. Breathe out. And breathe in. And relax the arms. Okay. Now we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. Just give yourselves a hug. Just separate the shoulder blades slightly. And relax the arms down again. Okay, let's overlap the forearms and drop the elbows just below the shoulders. Take a nice big deep breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, initiate it with the head and twist. 
and breathe in. Keep the shoulders relaxed and breathe out. Keep that connection with the core and breathe in. And breathe in out. And breathe in. And breathe in out. And breathe in. Try and keep those pelvic bones in the correct alignment. And breathe out. And breathe in. And last one. And breathe out. And breathe in. And relax the arms down. Well done. Okay, we're going to be moving into our closing phase. Okay, so if you can stand off your mat again, brilliant. But if you don't have enough space, just um, as long as that it's not on a slippy surface. So feet in, hip width apart. Let's keep them in line with your hips. Keep that three point connection. Keep your knees relaxed. Let your shoulders drop. Connect the navel spine, lengthen your spine and lengthen as if somebody's trying to pull a thread from the top of your head. Okay, so you might want to look at what's around you because we're going to do some arm circles again. Okay, so I want you to take your palms out as you breathe in, taking them up to the ceiling. And breathe out to the floor. This time we're going to bring them up in front. Breathe in. And breathe out down to the floor. Circle them slightly backwards. Breathing in, forward and up. Breathing out, down and backwards. And one more. Breathing in, forward and up. And breathing out, down to the side and backwards. Okay, we're going to reverse that. Let's take the palms up from behind. Breathing in, breathing out, palms pressing down. Breathe in and breathe out. Maintain that core, keep it connected. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, I want you to take your hands out to the sides. So just gently, just level with your shoulders, but just slightly in front. Now, I want you just to point your fingertips towards the floor. Feel that stretch. Feel that around the wrist and the lower arm, in the forearm area. And let's just bring that stretch by bringing the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Now you're going to feel that in the lower part of the forearm area. And fingertips towards the floor. Keep that core connected. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Bring in the fingers up towards the ceiling. Good. And one more, down towards the floor. And relax. Okay, we're going to practice our waiter again today. Let's bring our, we're going to work on the rotator cuff area of the shoulder. Bring the elbows in so they're clamped by our sides. The hands should have, be nice and flat and the palms should remain up to the ceiling. Imagine you've got like a newspaper underneath your arm, you're trying to hold on to it, so you keep your elbows tucked in. As you breathe in to prepare, I want you to connect that core. As you breathe out, you're taking your hands outside of the body, almost as if you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Or hold another 50 pence coin. And breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And finishing off, inhale. Relax the arms down. Okay. I want you gently just to come up onto the ball of the left foot and the right, just gently. We're just going to flow through that movement, we're bending and flexing the knee and just maintain a natural breathing rhythm. Keep the shoulders dropped, keep the navel 
connect to the other side. with our last three breaths so this really is the closing of the session and it, take, it takes you um, right back to um, that nice relaxed position again I hope okay so let's take a nice big deep breath in get the feet in line with your hips connect the core relax the shoulders we're breathing in as we raise the hands upwards towards the ceiling. Breathe out and press them towards the floor. Breathe in, hands upwards towards the ceiling. Breathe out, hands pressing towards the floor. Just focus on your breathing. Breathing in. channel we will be uploading um, videos frequently over the rest of the summer and until next time take care bye